Hello, Figs. My name is Katie Schubert, and I am a critical care nurse working in San Diego, California. I've been a nurse now for about eight years. Uh, I went into ICU as a new graduate nurse, and I absolutely love being a nurse, and I absolutely love critical care. I honestly can't picture myself being happier in any other role. Uh, in fact, as a child, I always knew that I was going to work in healthcare. I just knew it in my bones. Um, my dad is a paramedic, my stepmom was a nurse, and my childhood hero was our family physician, Dr. Price. Um, right now I'm currently studying at Point Loma Nazarene University. I am studying to get my master's in kinesiology with a focus on integrative wellness. Um, at the end of this program, in addition to having my master's degree, I'll also uh, be able to sit for the National Board of Health Coaching uh, certification and that brings me to my story so I mentioned before that I was a new graduate nurse in the ICU and I was under an immense amount of pressure and stress and I quickly realized the importance of having a self-care practice and how differently I showed up to work each day when I was looking after myself and my own well-being uh, one of my favorite phrases is you cannot give from an empty cup and I think this is especially important in uh, those who are working in a service-driven profession. Um, we have to look after ourselves in order to fully show up for those that we serve. So my goal is to be a wellness advocate and healthcare coach for medical professionals, uh, nurses and physicians in particular. Uh, I have witnessed the breakdown of these incredibly bright, talented people who have dedicated their entire lives to caring for others. Uh, unfortunately, we have a system that doesn't really acknowledge the mental health needs of medical providers, and it doesn't support them in uh, walking through the, the steps that they need to take in order to, um, to process really difficult and sometimes traumatic events. And even before COVID, we knew about this. There was a lot of research out there that showed epidemic levels of really serious things like uh, burnout syndrome, um, severe moral distress, and even PTSD. And I wanna be a part of the solution to this problem. I hope to offer not only one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching uh, with my colleagues, but I would also like to implement a plan, build a, a self-paced plan that any medical provider can walk themselves through. I know we're all really busy and having a self-paced program uh, that would teach them to build better self-care skills, I think is really important, uh, especially in the, uh, the current state of our healthcare system. So in five years, I hope to have my program and ideas implemented across San Diego County in all acute care facilities. Um, in 10 years, I would like to have a book on the market. I'd also like to be speaking nationwide at conferences, anything from integrative wellness conferences to medical conferences and nursing conferences as well. In 15 years, I'd like to see my program in the hands of every medical provider nationwide. I believe that we need to transform ourselves in order to transform our healthcare system and better serve our patients. So I'm really excited about these ideas. I have a fire in my belly to help healthcare providers uh, show up as the best version of themselves every single day. And all of the amazing professionals that I've had the absolute privilege of working alongside have inspired this dream. And they have been so encouraging and so supportive in my process. Uh, my main drive behind everything that I do, but especially this, is my beautiful four-year-old son. I'm a single mama to a beautiful little boy and I want him to see what it looks like to wake up each day and chase a dream and try to leave your little corner of the world a little bit better than the way you found it. So thank you so much, Figs. See you soon. Bye-bye.